Okay, this is part five of the video of the um, front CA grill protector installs. Um, I bought these off of eBay. They're gigantic. They really aren't the real size of it. I don't even know. Anyway, this is what they send you two of these and, and it um, had the other two. And I showed you how to install the top portion. Now we're going to do the bottom part, which is might be a little bit harder to install versus the top portion. Um, so far, I'll show you how I got that in there. Um, and they're in there really good. Um, I cut the tie straps off of the other part. So as you can see, um, there they go in there really good. Um, this portion of the video will be getting this part down here in. Um, getting this part in right here. This part is in and you can see the screen is very nice. Um, that will protect these these little these rocks from hitting your grill. And remember, I just got this. This is 2024, and that's the kind of des design flaw I, I find with the car is that um, rocks can go in there and, and and mess up your radiator and have it looking jacked up really quick. So, um, just been driving the car maybe about five or six times, and already that's what kind of damage you can do. Um, to with those rocks hitting that um, and getting up in there. I also had to pull out a book <laughs> and get them out. This side is already done as well. The top portion has been completed. I'm going to put some more tie rods, tie straps in there and lock that down um, in the top part. But you can see this part is already in. I just got to cut these out and we're going to be doing this section as well. So, so this, this, um, video is about doing the bottom half, which is going to be a little bit more trickier because I'm not going to be able to slide it as easy in, in like I did the first one. At least I don't think so, but we'll see. Um, and if I can do it, that would be perfect. Again, first I wanted to start off with this piece and I'll show you where I got this from. I'm going to work with what I have. Um, this was pretty inexpensive. They have some really, really expensive ones on, um, uh, YouTube, a person talked about it comes with all the instructions and it comes with the tools and all that. I'm sure it's probably pricey, but you know, you get what you pay for. I got something cheap, so I got what I paid for. Um, I'm not rich, but I think I'm pretty handy um, and can get this to what I want. Um, the other one I think they was having on there was made by somebody that don't even use tie, um, big tie straps. They use really good stuff, but I don't have that kind of money, so I'm going to still accomplish the same feat. Now, I did a draw out early. My drawing, not so great, <laughs> but I was looking like, where am I going to put this? How is it going to work, you know? Because the design of the front end sort of, sort of kind of like that, you know? But I realized, look, all I got to do is slide it down and it fits. I don't know if I can show it to you. Go up a little bit. And bring it down. Yeah, there you go. Move this stuff out the way. And so, I just moved this to where it'll fit right in here so basically right there is where i really need it like there i mean you know what i'm saying it, it, you can have a little room because it's going it, it's going to go behind so with that being said i'm thinking bring it down here like i got it and then just kind of come up here oh remember when you when you're cut, bending it you might want to bend the opposite way so it doesn't cause scratches. So instead of going this way, I know where I got to go here. I'm just going to bend it upward this way, okay? So the scratches doesn't, it don't scratch the car. So boom, there. That's what I need right there. Now, me and you know both that this is not going to go through that those little edges because the edges aren't it's not gonna go up through there because this is too big but my thoughts is to cut this in half and do one piece at a time okay um 
I don't mind spending time on my car. Um, so that's not an issue for me. Um, but with that being said, we will have to tape off each section so that it does not um, mess up your car. Cause I, I don't think this would go through. It's just too long. If I could bend it, that would be wonderful. But when you bend it, it breaks. So um, my thoughts first part is to do it in sections. So this is an extra little piece. I wonder if I can get that to that little, um, the little vent part. You know the vent parts that we talked about by the doors? <sighs> Might, I don't know. We'll see what I can do with that. Um, they got, I got some vent ones that you got to take the little screw out and screw it in. It's a little complicated, but I, I plan on doing that one too. But that, I don't know. That cute little piece. Um, stick this over here. That's one. That's for the um, left side dr uh, driver's side. This one's for the driver's side. And then, of course, um, I need another one for the other side and it just go the opposite way, you know? So it shouldn't be hard at all. So I would need two. It's funny because this piece come like this. I'm thinking it comes that like that for a reason. Like maybe there's something that's right here that's preventing this to go through and it's made like that for a reason. I'm sure it is. So I'm going to look at that and see why is that <laughs> made like that. Um, when I reach up in there, I don't see anything, but uh, let's go and see. Um, this side, when I went in there, I didn't spill anything that would be in the way that would cause that issue. So wonder why this one is like this. Huh, interesting. We'll find out. Um, we'll come here. And this would be for the opposite side. So we're going on this side for this piece right here. Right there. And I'm putting my hand in here and see if I can feel anything that will cause that piece to be like that. And there's no, absolutely no reason. So... I have no idea. Um, but it goes like that. And I'm just going to cut it the same way I did the other one. Just going to make it fit just like the other one. So I know where that, I know where it goes. So I'm just going to do it the same way. Okay. Do the same way I did the other one. Uh, and shear it off. So this is going to be relatively easy. Uh, I'll do this one the same way. Uh, huh. Wow. Can't, this one's different. That's going to be like that. See if I do it that way. I gotta look at that again. Let's do that. Let's look at that. Let's see if that'll work on that side. Yep. And it's gonna be perfect like that. Okay. Okay. I know what I might end up doing. Linking it up and then get rid of that piece. So right there. It's right there. And I'm going to go this way again, because remember, if you go the opposite direction, the, the, the cuts that end up cutting your vehicle, you don't want to cut your car. So there you go. See, bending it. 
There. There we go. Boom. That one. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This one looks a little longer. And the only reason why it's a little longer is because I cut it a little longer. Because, honestly, I want to get rid of this little piece like right here. And that might be there for a reason. It might help me put my hand in there. But I doubt it because, remember, I already did the top part. So, my hand won't be able to go and slide up under there because I already did my, my top part. So, my thoughts is just to probably get rid of this top part right here. So that it'll fit the same way this other piece. So, I got both of my pieces in ready. Um, and I'm thinking to do this now. You guys are going to say Miss Cherry or something else, but um, what I'm thinking is because I'm not going to be able to slide this large piece in there, but I will be able to if I broke it in half, right? So, and remember what I told you. Um, neither one of these are sharp, but this could be scratchy, you know. I'm thinking to cut it in half because that's the only way I'll be able to go through that portion. And then what I'll do is I'm going to cut it in half. Because huh. if I, I put it in there and I try to bend it back, it's going to break. So I go like that and then I come like that. Oh, shit. I might have been able to do that. If I do it too many times, it's going to break. Let's see if I can get it in there and bend it back. But whatever I got to do, I better put some tie rods in there first. I'll tell you how that works for me in part six. But I'm going to put tie rods, not tie rods, tie strings, whatever you call these things. Night, um, cable ties or nylon cable ties, cable ties in place remember you got to put them in place first otherwise you'll be fumbling around won't be able to get them in place once you get one in boom you're good to go for the rest of them but you want to get that one in a good place first so first thing you want to do is put, put it right in there first because it's going to go up against the back end of your car so you're already going to start off like that boom just like that um, will I have enough room to bend it back? That's the problem. Back out. I doubt it. Doubt it. But I'm going to see. And I'll tell you about that in part six.